In this lesson, you'll learn how to implement NFC, or Near Field Communications, in your Android apps. NFC is a set of short-range wireless technologies. Usually a distance of 4 centimeters or less is needed to initiate a connection. NFC allows you to share small blocks of data between an NFC tag and an Android power device, or between two Android devices. Simple tags offer just read and write capabilities sometimes with one-time programmable areas to make the card read-only. More complex tags offer math operations and have cryptographic hardware to authenticate access to a sector of the tag. The most sophisticated tags contain operating environments allowing complex interactions with code executing on the tag. The data stored in a tag can also be written in a variety of formats. And many of the Android framework APIs are based around the standard called NDEF, or NFC Data Exchange Format. So, with that as a background, let's take a look at an NFC demo. In the API Demos Worksheet, there's a group of three NFC demos. We're going to use the Foreground Dispatch Demo in line 154. And notice that it has the Java file name of Foreground Dispatch. So in the API Demos app, let's click on NFC and Foreground Dispatch. And the display tells us to scan a tag. To do this, since we don't have NFC capability on my computer, I'll have to use my phone. First, I had to turn on NFC in my settings. And here's a screenshot of my settings display where I checked NFC. Here's a screenshot of the app screen after scanning a tag. It's telling me it discovered a tag with the intent details shown here. And we'll get into these in a moment. And before we look at the code, I'm going to show you how I created the tag that was scanned. The first thing you need is some tags. And one place to get these is Amazon.com. If you search on NFC tag, you'll see a list of results. I ordered the product shown here. Next, you need an app on your phone to program the tags. I downloaded the app shown here on Google Play to my phone, NFC Task Launcher. Their page has some good screenshots and a video explaining the app. What you do is program a tag to activate a list of functions you specify in the NFC Task Launcher app. And this is one of the screenshots from their Google Play page showing the screen to specify actions. After you've done that, you click on Save and Write, and then you place your phone on top of the tag, and the app programs it to take these specific actions. I programmed my phone to activate the Maps app. And this is a screenshot of my phone after the Maps app had been activated by the NFC tag. And now let's take a look at the code. In the NFC source folder, we'll open Foreground Dispatch. And let's expand this out to get a better look at the code. Line 36 declares our foreground dispatch activity. Lines 37 through 42 define a number of variables we'll be using below. Lines 44 through 73 define our onCreate method. Line 48 uses the setContentView method to create our screen display using the foreground dispatch layout. So let's take a look at that. There it is. Line 17 declares a text view, and it has an ID of text. And the text view is centered in the screen vertically and horizontally. So back in our source, line 49 retrieves the text view and assigns it to mText. Line 50 initializes the text telling the user to scan a tag. 52 gets an NFC adapter and sets it to the variable mAdapter. 57 and 58 create a pending intent that will be delivered to this activity when a tag is scanned. The NFC stack will fill in the intent with the details of the tag. Line 58 contains details of the intent. And the flag activity single top means that if set, the activity won't be launched if it's already running at the top of the history stack. 
Line 61 creates an intent filter using the action NDEF discovered. 62 through 66 create a type using a forward slash with any sequence of characters before or after that that will match all MIME-based dispatches. Line 72 sets up a tech list for NFC tags. The tech entries refer to the qualified class name implementing the technology. For example, NFCF, as we're using here. And NFCF is a class that provides access to NFCF JIS 6319 4 properties and IO operations on a tag. And JIS 6319 4 stands for Japanese Industrial Standard 6319 4. Lines 75 through 80 define the on resume method. 78 and 79 enable a foreground dispatch for the adapter using the intent, filters, and tech list. Lines 82 through 86 define the on new intent method that's invoked when the intent we registered for is received. And it's here that you do the work in your app in response to a given tag being scanned. Line 84 logs a message identifying the tag. Line 85 displays the intent on our screen. Let me bring that up. It's displaying this text. Lines 88 through 92 define the on pause method. And line 91 disables the foreground dispatch intent when the app is paused. That's our lesson on connectivity using NFC. It's a fun technology and relatively easy to implement.